Okay, how are we doing? IBM. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm gonna be trading all day. Who's still in this with me? It's holding and I guess I'm gonna be trading all day now. <laughs> so the fast trade exit, I did not take. <laughs> So this better make it worth my while. It's gonna work, but it could take all day. So anyways, quick one was up in here, boom. First five minutes of the day. Now I'm waiting <laughs> for the rest of my life. I know, Gyro, are you still in it too? Javad's still in it, Gyro's still in it, it looks great. I know it hasn't gone going yet, but I'm telling you, the fact that it's holding looks great. So someone's supporting it, they're supporting the price. The only way that can happen is buying and the question is, are we going to be in it all day? <laughs> I know, it's retested the low 100 times and it keeps getting bought. It's getting bought at that number. Here, I'm going to quickly go over why I liked this so much. And then I'm just going to let everybody go because, you know, I really have to watch what I'm doing here now and there's nothing else I can say. And we'll see what we get tomorrow. If you're in it, you either took it and got out with profit or you're in it waiting for it to blow up again. Higher. Um, here was the reason that I liked it, besides the rating. <laughs> it was over this area, this, this area I felt, okay, looking at the chart, that if it got over it on the live day, I was okay with it that it would really get going today and hold the gap and go higher. Now, when it opened over that, I felt great about it. And it did have that big first push up. Came back, retested it. Remember, support and resistance are areas. And this is what it's flirting with, this area. But the gap supersedes everything else, which is real, and it's holding it up. But I wanna see another move up and another leg. And I will not be looking for a piggy target on that, as I said. So that's what I really saw this morning that I felt if we get over it, and then we ended up opening over it. Because we ended up opening at 168.01. Does anyone have any questions about this if I let everybody go? Stops 167. That's way, way far away. This literally, though, I'm telling you people, it might take till 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, it's just what it is. It, I thought maybe it would run up again here at 10. It didn't. So it's it's a slow and steady process. It could take till noon. It could take till 2. Daniel is saying, so your premise is that the gap wouldn't be closed and it's some kind of runaway gap. I don't know what a runaway gap is, but there's no premise. I use my rating system. I rated the gap today. That's what I do. IBM gap rated 20 points. On a 26 point rating system, 20 points or more means that the gap is gonna hold the direction that the gap is going. So in the case of a bullish gap, that means it's gonna hold as a long. Gap rated 20 points per my system. Therefore, the stock is higher. Therefore, the stock is being bought. I don't know what you mean by a runaway gap. I don't consider this runaway. The stock has had a very difficult year in 2017, was in a downtrend, started trying to recover towards the end of last year. Today, it is very clear to me, looking at this chart, that the stock is now back up in an uptrend, and therefore, the stock is going to move higher today, after the gap today, and continue. So, you know, I wouldn't say this is runaway. It's just a gap up. A runaway gap to me, again, I don't talk like that, would be a gap up at like 190 or something crazy. It didn't do that. But there would be no real reason for that to have done that today. This is not an earnings gap. It was an upgrade. The fact it had such a sizable gap today in an upgrade, again, just points to the strength in the stock, the fact that it's getting bought. So I don't trade gap fills. They simply do not work. Even when you see something that goes in the opposite direction of the gap, it's really not what you think. I'm trying to think of one. What was that one? Here, let's just try to find one in this chart. Is there any in this chart that I could use as an example? I'm going to use this as an example, simply because it was a gap down that did not work as a short back on 5.5 last year. It rallied. 
So the point is, though, that um, this didn't, didn't fill any gap. The stock rallied on a gap down, but it didn't fill any gap, didn't rally all the way up to here. What is it filling? The stock gap down. This is probably earnings, I'm guessing. One of these was, this one or this one here. But anyways, it, it, never, it never fills anything. The stock's either getting bought or it's getting sold off. This gap moved the stock lower. How do I know? Look, do, 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 do. and it moved it lower. So right after this, in fact, it followed through the next day, dropped, brack, rolled up, pushed against the resistance, dropped, gap down again, fell really hard. So this gap took the stock actually all the way down from price in here was around 150-ish, took it all the way down to 139-ish. So, I mean, this gap moved the stock lower, despite the fact that even on the live day, it didn't work as a short. It didn't fill any gap. And how to, so, so you see here, the, there's, the institutions didn't buy this gap. How do I know? It didn't move higher. It moved lower. So the gap was real, just like this gap is real. And this, this chart looks good. The only, there's only one thing wrong with this chart. It's taking forever. And I wish I would have got out of the morning move. I was up a lot, and I didn't. So maybe I was a pig, but I'll live. And if you want to take more here, you can even take more over 167.75. Depends how aggressive you want to be here today. The rating system is the premise, exactly. But you, it's very easy to see who's in control. Al asked about, was I doing a gap fill? He obviously is new to what I do, but I never do that. I always am trading with who's in control. All right, listen, good luck everyone, you know what to do. Looks like an inside day in the market here, but I believe we get over the high of yesterday sometime, and I believe it's this week. So we'll just see how we end up working out this afternoon. You must be patient with us if you're in it. If you didn't want to be patient, you're already out. You already took it out, or you'd have to go somewhere. You might have to kill it. But I'm telling you, the fact that it keeps retesting low and holding is continually showing me the signs of the strength. If something wants to sell off and fall like a brick, then it's going to do it. It didn't do it. Market is not bearish today at all. So you don't have the market against you in this. I'm not looking for a piggy target. Anywhere back up to the high, if it doesn't get over, it'll be out. If it does, I'm going to stay with the trade. I believe now this could take possibly till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it's a slow grind here with this. It's got to get more buying to come into it to move higher. So tomorrow I hope we get a good quick short. But I still would love to see IBM push over 169. I mean, because there are traders in here that are shorting this, but they're not going to win out in the end. But because they are, their stop's probably over the high. In fact, people probably have some of their stops up here. So, you know, expect a push if you stay with this over here and the high. A push up. I don't know what you mean by other stocks and indices. I don't know what you mean. I'm only in one thing. I usually do one thing a day. I already looked at the market. I'm telling you the market's, you know, sideways here today, but bullish. There's nothing else to, to see about the market. Am I going to do anything else today? No, it's the only thing I did today. F is setting up again if, you, if somebody wants to do it, but I didn't make an official call on this, even though I liked it this morning. Halo was a big winner with the move this morning with the risk to reward. And the other one was GE that did have a move down and pretty much looks like it might be done here. So now I don't want to do anything else. Why? I'm engaged in this. I'm in this. I believe in this. It either works or it doesn't. Now at this point, I missed the exit this morning. I didn't miss it. I saw it. I just chose not to get out. Some people did. But an hour into the day, I wish I had. IBM does move. What do you mean it doesn't move? Of course it moves. This stock moved a dollar and a half from where we took it today. Up, straight up. You could have made a buck and a half on this for the 50 cent stop or 60 cents, whatever you got filled. This stock moves. Right now it's not moving. It's not moving since 945, but I'm already in the trade. I'm not going to jump around and look at other things now. There's nothing else to do. Why do you think I'm doing this? This was the best gap today. It had the biggest move right out of the gate. I didn't get out with a profit. So I decided to wait for a bigger target. I hope that plays out in my favor. This is slowly moving its way up, trying to 
lift. This is slowly trying to lift too. If you're here in a trial, I would watch and observe, but you got to be here by 9.30 or you're not going to understand what I'm doing when I make the call. And if you, if you came late, you missed the call in the morning in this. Anyways, listen, I'll see everybody tomorrow. I'll do a video on this when I'm done today. I have no idea what time. Luckily, I'm snowed in today. We're getting a blizzard. So I wasn't going out today anyways, and I'm not on TV, so we're getting a big snowstorm. I'm here. I'm watching this. Manage it on your own. First targets, high of the day. Stops 167. We'll see what she does. All right. Good luck, everyone. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow.